Hi guys, I'm Mikey Musumichi from the United States of America. I competed in one championship and I'm from the Evolve Fight Team. Yeah, so I grew up in New Jersey and then I moved to Florida at like 11 years old. Uh, I moved a lot as a kid. I lived in like 11 different homes. So it was definitely hard making friends when you move so much, you know. And um, I pretty much battled depression my whole life also. So those are pretty much the hardships I've dealt with. And um, Jiu Jitsu helped me so much overcome those things. I've always just felt a little different than the other kids I was around, you know. So I always just wanted to fit in and feel normal. So I'd always wish I could just be like everyone else. But I just felt different. So it definitely was hard for me growing up feeling that and um, that I guess helped me with Jiu Jitsu because it made me just work harder and um, it made, I was able to enjoy Jiu Jitsu. So that helped me through my depression. Probably you have ADHD your whole life. It isn't really like you have it one time. So um, yeah, sometimes it's hard with ADHD with focusing like on many things, but I have like hyper focus. So if I focus on one thing, I could like focus on it a lot deeper than other people. So that's a gift, but you also lose track of other things. So it's also bad. <laughs> I've had a lot of ups and downs, just life, like my life is like a roller coaster. One second, it's like super high. The next second, you're like super low, but just the ups and downs. But I guess the highs I've had make me appreciate the lows because I felt so low and so high. Like, so the ups and downs, they make you appreciate life. So the deep reason why I, I compete in Jiu-Jitsu is one, I love it, you know, I've been doing it since I was four years old. So that's like 22 years training Jiu-Jitsu. And um, I don't know, it just became a part of my life. When you're doing it for 22 years, it becomes like drinking water, eating food. Like, it's just so natural for me to do Jiu-Jitsu. And, um, I feel like why I continue to compete now is to have an impact on the next generation. Um, I want people to watch me compete and then want to train Jiu Jitsu as well. Because I know it's a healthy activity for them to do and that will help their life. And having an impact on other lives give me fulfillment and that helps me with depression. <laughs> So I've trained with many great instructors, you know, because I lived in so many different places and um, I'm grateful for everyone that's helped me. But um, I've kind of had the mindset since I was like 14, 15 years old as my own coach, you know, so I was always just pushing myself in training. Um, I was just studying so many things like different videos on the computer. Um, and I had my sister as well. And me and her would just train in the garage with each other like every day. So. That definitely pushed me to evolve and um, it's kind of what I do now. I just train with a select few group of people and I just keep teaching myself and pushing myself to get better. The way I would like to give back to the community is showing people um, like a different audience can also do Jiu Jitsu, you know. Um, when some people think of fighting and martial, like um, combat sports, they think of like these tough, like arrogant, uh, kind of people, you know, and um, I'm really not like that. So I feel like I could show others that they could do it as well. And that will get people to do jiu-jitsu. I love figuring out new positions in training and then having a goal. Oh, I have to do this in my next match. It just makes it so much more fun when you have a goal. Well, it's definitely interesting living in a different country, you know, um, being away from my family and parents. But um, it also is so interesting because every day when I train here at Evolve, I'm training with people from different countries in every training. So like, um, it just shows how it doesn't matter where you're from, if we all have a common interest, since we're all humans, if we have a common similarity and interest, we could all get along and kind of be the same. So it's a great lesson in life for me that doesn't matter who I meet, like we could always get along. Uh, I think the best thing about training at Evolve is the environment. Um, I haven't encountered one bad energy person here. Everyone's so nice and um, it just makes it fun to train. I've been in so many different gyms where people have very bad energy and they're trying to hurt you and just a bad environment. But here at Evolve, everyone is just so nice and it just makes a room where everyone's getting better and improving because of the energy. So I would say the energy is the biggest thing for me. So first off, I don't take any rest days ever. Um, I train every day and I say every hour I'm thinking of Jiu Jitsu. Uh, now the hours I'm physically training, I would say about like five hours in a day, 
five to six hours in a day I'm training and um, weekends uh, sometimes I'll do a little less volume those are my rest days if I'm still training but I'll just train a little less than the other days so that's pretty much it what keeps me going is that I enjoy being there it's not about how my body feels it's that I have fun seeing my friends and ha hanging out with everyone so it makes me want to just be there to see everyone and then you train as a secondary thought you know and um, also what keeps me going I would say is my motivation and drive I'm always trying to get better and improve and I know how short our life is I know how limited our time is so I feel like every second I'm not working toward my goal I feel like I'm wasting time so it makes me very motivated to just not rest and just keep going there's definitely days where I'm exhausted and I don't feel good but I'll keep my same schedule and routine every day my first match I think was at four or five years old um, I won my first match and I ran running off the mat into my dad's arms and I told him I never want to compete again I was crying <laughs> because it was so scary as a kid like fighting someone you know um, definitely wasn't like a natural thing for me to do I didn't compete again until I was a lot older like nine ten years old and I was still horrified and then um, I when I went back to competing when I was like nine or ten I lost like every tournament I did because I was just so scared to compete and I had this healthy part of me that I had to beat that fear you know so uh, when I pushed myself to beat that fear then I overcame it and then after that I started winning everything Oh, it means so much to be a Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, especially in this era of time where Jiu-Jitsu is rapidly growing so much. Um, now we're in one championship, the biggest organization ever for Jiu-Jitsu, and we're professional athletes now. So being a part of this first generation of athletes in one championship, it's, we're pioneers. We're making history and setting us up on this platform for the future to come for the next generation. Because in the past, people would have to switch to MMA to make money in Jiu-Jitsu. Now, because of how big Jiu-Jitsu is growing, we don't need to go to MMA. So it's up to me, Rutolos, and all the other amazing athletes that one championship is going to have in Jiu-Jitsu to keep it on this platform so the next generation is stays on here as well. I don't have a favorite move when I'm sparring. I just go with whatever the person gives me. I don't really go in with like a mindset, oh, I'm doing this. Um, now, sometimes when I'm working one specific thing, I do that, but um, typically I, I'm not trying to force things. And um, I do have a, a move I'm working right now for my next match, but I can't really talk about it. But uh, I really want to hit it. Probably Shatri is my mentor, like, off the mat and my mom <laughs> well my mom always believed in me since I was a young kid you know and um, she's just been always there for me and helping me so much all the times I was horrified to compete she was always there with me and she would go for walks with me at night when I was like nervous she was like let's go for a walk you know so I love my mom so much and um, Shatri is just helping me become an adult now and um, I'm just learning so much from him and his values on life and um, I just, I learned gratitude from him which is probably the biggest thing that has helped my life so far, gratitude. So probably my mom and Shatri. I think all the co competitors I compete with are amazing but um, I think what separates myself is my obsession. Um, I'm never not thinking of Jiu Jitsu, every hour in the day I'm thinking of it. So. I think that my obsession separates me. I think my fighting style is me just attacking someone every second. Um, I might not get the finish, I might get the finish, but I'm trying every second to get the finish. I don't really stop, you know, I, I just go for the kill every second. Uh, typically I'll wake up in the morning, I'll do about two and a half hours of training in the morning or so, then I'll go climbing and do cardio, then I'll train again another few hours at night. Advice for people starting Jiu Jitsu, take it slow, don't get completely obsessed with it and burn out. I've seen so many people start Jiu Jitsu, they'll do like every day for like one week and then they can't do it anymore because their bodies are destroyed. Um, there's a good saying like look at a runner, like a long distance runner versus a sprinter. They both start running with each other. The long distance runner will just steadily run like this. The sprinter will just go super past him, right? but then the sprinter has to stop. So 
So then the long distance runner who's just running at the steady pace eventually passes the sprinter. So I think a steady long distance mindset is the best for anyone starting Jiu Jitsu. Don't overdo it, uh, slowly get into it and you could keep adding more and more days. You know, I know it's hypocritical for me to say that because I train every day, but when you're first starting, I think it's important you have rest days and you just slowly make a schedule that you could actually keep. Probably eat a nice meal like pizza and pasta and study. Yes, I'm right now studying business. Uh, I wanna get my MBA in business. So right now I'm studying and that's my goal in the future. But I still have so many goals and plans in competing in Jiu Jitsu. So just a work in progress. The long distance running mindset, you know, in everything I do. What brought me here was meeting Shatri. You know, um, I just, the second I met him, I wanted to just uh, spend time with him and learn from him, you know, so that, that made me change continents. So, um, as well as, you know, this is my first time living away from my family. Um, it's helping me grow up. <laughs> what I want my legacy to be about is not about the matches I won or lost, but just the energy I have on the mat, the respect I give my opponents, the, the values I have or what I want to be left. And I want people to have those values as well. Um, that, to make an impact, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of people in Jiu Jitsu, they, they're amazing, but they're horrible people kind of, and um, their impact to others kind of is not good. And then they become bad people. Uh, so being a good person on and off the mat, I think I want to try to represent. And I'm trying every day to be the best person I can be.